Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Armored Core 5. We're continuing to go through every remaining order mission in the game, because I'm pretty sure we're close to the end of the story. I don't know how many order missions are left to go, but we're just going to keep doing them until we're done. Looks like we're fighting more Zodiac forces in mission 76. A fierce battle is expected. Well, since we have no information, we'll just go in with our normal build, and then if we get wrecked, we'll adjust our build as appropriate. What do you want to talk about, Zodiac number eight? Enemy AC. It's Zodiac. That emblem. We've seen this one before. Don't let him get away this time. Where is he? Finding the enemy and trying not to give him first strike is step number one. Where are you at, Zodiac? There he is. Leo. Almost makes me feel like I'm fighting Gundam Wing enemies when uh, they're all named after constellations. Apparently, since you keep fighting me. I repeat, are you our enemy? Only if you attack me. Exactly. You tell him, Rosary. Are we no longer needed? Y yeah, you're not. Whatever war you were created to fight in is long over, I think. It's not letting me fight. Well, I think he got away again. That is some deep negative income. Oh well, it's okay. I've got the extra money to burn. Alright. Well, that was pretty easy. Facing migrants. Oh, it's two enemy ACs. King of Muscle Alpha and King of Muscle Beta. A defensive team consisting of a bipedal AC and a tank AC. Okay, that's a pretty common pattern. Two heavyweights of different maneuverability types. The tank is inferior in terms of maneuverability, but is equipped with various weapons that are suitable for medium and long range. Bipedal is equipped with close... Yeah, yeah, very typical pattern. Okay, yeah, we've seen this sort of thing before. We'll try our normal build first, and if that fails miserably, we'll adjust as needed. Different. 
Now these guys sound like a couple of real brains. I'm being sniped at. Wanna come around the corner? Yeah, this particular map, the game tends to stutter. It's quite interesting. Only downside of fighting where I'm fighting from is because I'm under the overpass, I can't use my missiles very well. And by not very well, I mean not at all, really. Oh, I'm suddenly very, very hurt. Somebody hit me with something powerful. Ah, hair on my tongue. Oh, this guy's trying to flank me. Clever. Not the only one who can attempt flanking maneuvers. And from here I can use my missiles. Okay, it's not going well for me though. Apparently I don't want to be in range of those weapons. They're good at teamwork. It's not so easy to lure him to where I can only fight one. I've got one nearly dead, but the other has almost 30,000 AP left, so this is looking very grim. Alright, one down, but the other one has so much AP remaining that, uh, ugh, my chances of victory are slim to none. I'll try, but not looking good. Where'd he go? I had more AP left, I could pull this off. Because I'm really doing way more damage to him than he's doing to me. But, uh... As it is... He only has to hit me a couple times and I'm dead. One more hit and I think I'm down. Yep. That's a shame. If I had maybe another 5,000 AP, I think I would have won that fight. Hmm... That was close to a victory, but even so, I think I'm going to try my uh, super firepower build. No guarantees it'll work particularly well at all. The super firepower build is very hit or miss. It's either an I win button or it makes it impossible to win. There's really no in between with it, I don't think. But uh, let's try it and see what happens. Could potentially make this fight very easy. Couple Ithacas. Uh, switch the shoulder unit to the extra ammo. And switch to the quad legs. And let's go. It's either about to be an easy win or a catastrophic loss, probably. Mm. 
Main system activating combat mode. Oh, he's just going for it. He's dodging a little. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. I'm trying to switch to my other weapon and it's not working. Uh, okay, this isn't going to work. That was close. Which, so much for my prediction of either easy win or catastrophic defeat, that was actually kind of in between. It was a loss, but uh, once again, we almost won. I feel like what I really need to do is try to stunlock the more mobile one and kill him first. Because if I let him get too close and he starts darting around, I'll never hit him with my powerful weapons. So I need to just kind of tank the hits from the tank. But um, psh, and try to kill the more mobile guy and then turn my attention to the tank and kill it. So we'll try this build one more time. I know you're a couple of psycho killers. Dang it. Stunlock attempt failed. Oh, and I'm... Okay. Come on out. I wish I could aim this thing faster. That is as fast as it lets me adjust the aim. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. Now let's get the tank. Uh-oh, now the tank is jumping all over the place. I can't see a damn thing. Okay, if we could kill him first. Huh. Every time I almost win, but I can't quite kill them both. And every time I feel like if I fought just slightly better, I'd have won. I'm going to try this again. Because if I had just fought just a little better, I think I would have had the win there. It's very close. I'm not sure the extra magazine is actually really giving me the extra ammo for these. Because it says it increases the ammo by 20, but it's clearly not giving me another 20 shots. So I don't know if it actually does anything with these weapons. I might be better off with missiles, but I'm not sure I could fire them and this big gun at the same time anyway. Seems like once you... Pull out one of these big guns, that's the only thing you're firing. He's dead, okay. can't see. Oh god, the, the fact that I so often just can't see anything when I'm using this weapon is a big problem. Okay, please come out to where I can see you and shoot you. No? Got him. System returning to normal mode. Not exactly a fast-paced, mobile, agile battle. That was more just a battle of pure firepower, but it got the job done after a few tries. 
It's not an especially fun build to use, but sometimes it's the right build. Next up, 78. Facing two ACs again, Aurora and Blue Blood. Fancy names. Oh, that's like an Arinus or something. That uh, one on the left. And the one on the right is some kind of griffin. That's pretty cool. Team consisting of a heavyweight tank type with high firepower and low mobility that is supported by a nimble, medium weight, bipedal recon AC. Very typical pattern. Hmm. If the one is super mobile, what are the chances of my heavy firepower build even being able to hit it? I'll try it just for lulls. I have a feeling it's not going to do well if one of these ACs is a high mobility type because I'll just never be able to hit it. But we'll see. Maybe I can get in a lucky shot and stun lock it and kill it real fast. If this fails, I'll try switching to my normal loadout. Let's start the mission. Do as ordered. No deviations. Acknowledged. Gerhild and Lord, huh? Main system activating combat mode. Come on out. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is about how I figured it was going to go. There's just no way I can keep up with it. Okay, yeah, that went how I thought it was going to. Let's try a normal build for this pair. It's probably fragile if it's a super high mobility type. So if I can get up close and unload a lot of firepower into it, I might be able to kill it quick. There we go, back to normal. I'm pretty sure I can save builds so that I'd be able to hot swap and not have to manually make all those changes. I probably should have looked into that a while ago. Yeah, I think I can do that here. Yeah, wait, wait, whoa, 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 this is load, not save. Cancel. Okay. wonder how I save to that, because that's just for loading from it. Oh well, we'll look into that later, I suppose. So many two-on-one fights. Main system activating combat mode. Can it come from the left or the right? I've got up oh, the right it is. That's surprisingly durable for being a super high mobility type. But uh I'm whittling it down. No, I lost there it is. All right, one down, and I still have over 20,000 AP left. Wish I knew the defensive characteristics on these things. If they have low thermal energy defense, I should pull out my pulse machine gun, but I don't know if they do or not. 
a little low on energy at the moment, so I'm not going to pull it out right now. Where is the other one, anyway? There it is. I might be able to just play hit and run with it if it's low mobility. Or get into a good sniping position. Let's regain some energy. I think we're fairly safe up here. I don't think it can jump this high. And there we go. Let's uh, let's see what it thinks of our pulse machine gun. Ah, good damage. Okay, switch weapons. Perfect. System returning to normal mode. Normal build was right build for that pair. They had some cool emblems, though I'm so enamored of the double Anubis emblem that I, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to persuade me to change, but both the Griffin and the Arinus were pretty cool. Hmm. I have been using this same loadout for so long. Maybe it's time for a change of pace. And by loadout, I meant decorations, so not loadout at all. All right, what would be a good coloration? As cool as this gold, or, uh... Am I using the gold right now? Yeah, I think I am. Anyway, uh... No, I'm using the gun metal, aren't I? No, 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 that's the gun metal. I guess I was using the gold. I thought I had switched from gold to gun metal. Maybe I switched from gold to gun metal and then to something else. That's probably what happened. Oh, memory. Could go with very white color. Could go with very black, which is cool, but it just feels stereotypical to go with a very, very black coloration. Hmm. Let's go with very, very white. We'll be like a new white glint, which is a uh, famous armored core from uh, 4 and 4 Answer. I actually had a model kit of it, like a thousand pieces or something, and it put it together and it was really cool. And then my cats knocked it on the floor and it kind of shattered. Insert teary faced emoji here. All right, and yeah, that looks pretty cool. And let's change our emblem. As much as I do like th that, that was it. Amo, amo. I, for some reason, I couldn't remember the word for love in Odi et amo. Well, that's like a thorny rose there. Oh right, and another thing that I came across on the wiki is apparently, I had noticed that RD was using the same AC as the resistance leader. Apparently, he also had the resistance leaders eagle emblem but when we killed rd i guess apparently i missed this it showed the eagle emblem but all singed into this which is the dark raven is what it's called call uh and that's a reference to the fact that ordinarily uh the mercenaries the pilot the acs in armored core games are called ravens now that's not a term that has been used in armored core 5 so far that i've noticed so that makes it a little bit of an oddity. But yeah, let's use the Dark Raven emblem. I think it's time. 
And ironically, we're going to put it on a very gleaming white mech. All right, maybe we'll finish out the game with this, uh, this emblem and coloration. All right, now that we had fun playing paint up with our mech, let's do the next order mission. Oh, we're facing Zodiac again. Try a standard loadout. No reason to use something else when we don't know what kind of enemy we're going to be facing. And it does have the most general utility. These enemies are formidable. But you must carry out your mission, number four. I know what you're thinking, Angie. And I know what awaits in the future. That statement does not compute, number four. Continue with your mission. Why the Zodiac Fine. don't... I'll try you away. I wonder why the Zodiac don't try attacking me in a big group. Do they consider it dishonorable or something? But it seems like what they care about more than anything is victory. We can't very well pull back. They'll follow us to the ends of the earth. I hereby order the destruction of both the enemy AC and Zodiac. Alright, will do, Fran. Really though, if victory is their only goal, you'd think that they would want to attack me in a big swarm. That would pretty much guarantee that they win. Not this one-on-one -on -one stuff. Maybe they have to try and prove they're the best or something. Aries, eh? He seems to have an auto cannon that's kind of tearing me a new one. I hate auto cannons. Hmm. Let's see what he thinks of the pulse machine gun. He liked this so much, he ran like a coward. He's nimble. He's also defeating us. He has like 16,000 AP left. Not convinced the pulse machine gun is doing all that much damage to him. A few more hits and we're dead. There he is. Got off a cheap hit on us. Oh yeah, we don't even have him below 10,000. I don't think any of my gimmicky builds would be effective here. You know, I haven't been to the shop in a while. Maybe I should see if there's any improvements to my normal weapons or my core or my legs or any of that. Because this, like I said, it doesn't seem like a fight that... Uh, a gimmicky build is going to be good for, I don't think. He's very nimble, so the high firepower build doesn't seem all that viable. Only really works against fairly low mobility enemies. Alright, are there any nice rifle upgrades for me? That would be a no, I guess. How about battle rifle? What do I have equipped in my left if it's not a battle rifle? Now I'm all confused. What am I using? Is 
So here I'm using rifle. What am I using in my left arm? I'm using a battle rifle. Okay, I don't know what... I, I got briefly confused. Uh, that fires so much slower, it doesn't seem like it's going to hit harder. And that's just worse DPS all around. I'm not too impressed by these offerings so far. It's odd to me how rare it is that we unlock parts that are better than what we've got. We very often unlock parts that are clearly worse. And that's worse DPS, worse DPS, worse DPS, worse DPS, worse DPS, worse DPS. What is even the point? Yep, they're all garbage compared to what I've got. Oh, that's one with faster reload time. I'm sure that it's worse overall, though, just thinking about the percentage change of the reload time versus the CE attack power. All its other characteristics are better, though, aside from the DPS being worse, including better ammo capacity. So that one's almost tempting. Still... DPS matters a heck of a lot. No, I'm not feeling very inspired by any of those. Uh, okay, what about... Is there a better... Hmm. I'd have to equip this, a sniper rifle for a proper comparison. Let's swap out some parts. Alright, so Psycad, and then... What should I equip on my left for comparison purposes? This is a Junk Pulse machine gun, so that's not the one that I ordinarily use. I'm already comparing the Sniper Rifle. I could do Gatling gun comparisons, I guess. Okay, so worse DPS, worse DPS. Nope. They're garbage compared to what I've got. No reason to bother. How about Gatling Gun? Is there a better Gatling Gun? That one's better, but way less ammo capacity. So what is the DPS on that? 754 divided by 12. 62. That's not that high, really. Or wait, wait, what am I talking about? That's actually quite good. Yeah, never mind me. 62 is actually pretty good compared to some of the other things I've got. Alright, let's buy this. Yeah, the ammo's not great. Well, sometimes you don't care about ammo. Sometimes what you care about is just killing as fast as you possibly can. And then lastly, should I check shotguns? I think I already have an Elmira, don't I? And it looks like that's the only one for sale. Okay, well, let's uh, check heads then. Okay, that looks worse, worse, worse. I'm not impressed by any of these. How about a core? These cores all look pretty terrible. Why would I pay 128,000 for one that has less than half the AP of what I currently have? Sure, it's light and the energy consumption's low, but it's so fragile. How about arms? Any better arms? None of these are impressing me. How about legs?
Anything that causes my loading limit to fall really badly is a no-go. Good grief. Um, there we go. Reverse jointed heavies. Oh, what's this? This looks pretty good. Ah, uh, it causes me to exceed my loading limit, though. That's a crying shame. I'm gonna buy this, though. The Guadalupe. And maybe I can reduce my load enough to make it worth equipping. I think I like the FCS I've got. Not too impressed by any of those. Or those particularly. Okay, that's about it. We didn't buy much. I think we bought a new Gatling gun. And new legs. Was that it? Is that all we got? I really need to work on improving my memory for what I bought, but I don't remember getting anything else here. Feel free to mock me in the comments if I uh, am overlooking something. Okay, so... I'm not convinced a sniper rifle is going to be good for this fight. Maybe it will. I'll try it if I fail again, but first... We're going to go with the wrong way, it seems. I'm going to go with the good old lamp horde. Something else I haven't really tried at all just because I was pretty unimpressed the first time I used it and I never tried it again was uh, a blade. I could always try a blade weapon too. Okay, there's our very powerful but low ammo Gatling gun. Let's try it. What we need here is just killing him real fast. That's much more important than ammunition for this fight. Uh, the Pulse Machine Gun didn't seem like it was proving that effective against him, did it? But... What else could I equip on my right arm that might be better? I don't know, I guess I'll leave it on there. Ooh, we could go over our limit depending on what kind of left bay unit we equip. Wait a minute. Hold up. Left arm unit is Geneva. And left bay unit is also Geneva? Is that a Gatling gun where you can't have a bay unit if you have it equipped on that arm? Is that what's going on? I'm not entirely sure that's such a good idea if that's true, though I'll try it. But what I'd like to do is have the battle rifle as a backup. Okay, that works just fine. I don't know why it said that I had something equipped in that bay. It was lying to me. Okay, and I didn't get a new head or core or arms that I remember, but I did get new legs. Right. Or did I not? Yeah, the Guadalupe. Oh no, that exceeds my loading limit. It doesn't raise my AP by that much, but it increases all my defenses and stuff too. You know what I think maybe I'll do is maybe I'll go to the right bay and unequip the pulse machine gun. Really? My loading limit is still exceeded? That's... Hmm. If my loading limit is still exceeded even after I... Wait a minute. Did it not let me unequip that? Oh, it was the right bay. Well, if it's not go if my loading limit's going to be exceeded after unequipping a weapon, then forget it. I'm going to go back to the legs I had. Those ones just can't hold enough stuff, apparently. All right, what did I have in my right bay again? I think what I currently have is just the rifle, right? Yeah, that's what I currently have equipped. And in my left arm, I've got the Gatling and uh, Battle Rifles back up. 
uh, pulse machine gun, I think is what I had. There we go. Okay. Sorry I spent so long in that menu. It had been a while since we checked it out. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed that there wasn't really much of interest to buy. But, uh, it is what it is. Let's give this another try. Our build is hardly even different. Really, we just have a high damage Gatling gun equipped, and that's pretty much it. But, uh, let's see if it helps. This might just be one where you just need to pilot very well, rather than a gimmicky build kind of thing. But again, something else I can always try is equipping a blade, because I haven't used them in forever. And they seem pretty powerful, so if I could get good at using them, they might be pretty effective. I will if I can, boss. Where is he? Come out and fight me. There he is. He's also trying to climb a wall. He disappeared. There he is. I wonder if it's a Gatling gun he's got, not an auto cannon. Probably because I think auto cannons, you have to stop to fire them if you've got a bipedal type. So floaty. It's pretty even in terms of how much damage we're each doing and how fast each of our AP is going down. Very even, in fact. He's probably hearing exactly the same thing from his computer. Oh no, 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 I lost him. Ugh. I think that I'm slightly behind. Yeah, he's got 2,000 left and I'm down to 500. What a close battle. You know what the sad thing is? If I had just unequipped both of my bay weapons and equipped the legs with the higher AP, I might have won that fight. I think I'll do that and try it next episode. I'll see you next time.